Hey everybody, got into Doha last night. I wanted to show you what the fan villages look like. And these, you might have seen on the news, uh, they are the shipping container-like hotel rooms that they're renting out. Um, this one happens to be right next to Al Ryan Stadium. It's about a five minute walk to the stadium where the first USA game is going to happen tonight. And so let's go inside, let's take a look and I can show you what you get in one of these rooms. So they're very small. Uh, when you come in, you have a little bit of a kitchen area right here with a refrigerator. And then you've got a shower, bathroom, sink. All of this looks brand new, put together. And then you have your living area. And it's a king size bed that I was able to reserve. These mattresses, they're not like the Double Tree, I can tell you that. Uh, they're very, very hard. And if you like a real firm mattress, then you're in luck. If not, you might want to bring something to uh, like a pad or something or get a pad at the mall that happens to be also about a five minute walk across the street. So there are dining options right here on this little compound area, plus a big screen TV that you can watch the games at. No beer is sold on this compound. No beer is sold at the mall across the street. So I think downtown in terms of your options of either buying alcohol and bringing it back to your room, which you can do, or just going out and having a beer. Downtown's gonna be your option. That's about a 20 minute drive from where I am staying. So getting back to the room, there's an air conditioning, there's free Wi-Fi, and that is about it. Um, it's very, very sparse. So pros and cons. Pros, you're a five minute walk from the stadium cons for $225 a night that's what it's costing me it's it's pretty barren now given it's the world cup you're gonna everything all the prices are jacked up but it's all dependent upon what you want and how close you want to be to where your particular game is at so they're clean they're functional but I think it's fair to say it's a little bit overpriced. Just to give you an idea of what is out there in the market when I was looking to book these, a room at the Holiday Inn was going for about $350 a night. One of those cruise ship rooms was going for about $500 a night. So this is by far your most budget option. Plus it's gonna be, again, closest to your particular game. Hope this is informative. Take care, go USA.